Hi, Magis gang. My name is Majoji Bam. <coughs> Maji for short. If you're new here, you are welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. Back. It's always a pleasure to have you here today. You can tell I'm a completely different person now. Plus, I've lost my voice. I don't know why my voice has gone. Because I was only on a flight for 40 hours, not talking to anyone, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's stress. Anyway, so I hope everyone's having a good week so far and you are not letting anyone or anything dim your light. I'm literally still feeling asleep. Uh. Anyway, so today is day one, yeah? Today is day one. And I kid you not when I tell you I'm exhausted, I'm jet-lagged on a whole nother level because i went over more time zones than i could count honestly i don't even know what to do with myself right now but it's currently few minutes past 1 pm and i'm just going to like start my day in quotes let me tell you something interesting the charger connector things in canada are different from that in australia the uk and Nigeria so I'm guessing like this is like just figuring out that one of my Apple product um, chargers to be precise my iPod has a connector thing that is just two pin so that's what I'm using to charge my power bank so that I, at least I can charge my phone with my phone's cable I'm still having my brain in check even though I'm jet lagged and tired and I don't even know what's wrong with my voice right now anyway hopefully it clears up soon a few moments later if you have not watched the video of my Airbnb tour do well to check that out in case you want to have an idea of the place I'm staying in anyway so I asked my host to check if she could get me or borrow me traveler's adapter and I think she's dropped it outside yeah Hopefully it actually works. Well, it will. It will because this is Australia and this is UK. It will work. I'm just going to try to charge my laptop because I was using it last night. For some reason, one of the videos I posted, or not last night, earlier this morning because when did I go to bed? I only I arrived past midnight, so I haven't really been here that long. When I was using the laptop, it went down. I was trying to remove a copyright claim on one of my videos. That's why I'm going to be using only YouTube music from now on because I don't know, like some of these people, they'll tell you that the videos, I mean, the music can be used in your video and you won't get a copyright claim only for you to get a copyright claim later. And it's so annoying. So I had to take out the music. Now that video is on mute. Maybe I'll try to put in something else when my laptop is charged. It's working anyway, so I guess we have a solution. The only thing is, when I'm using my laptop charger here, I can't plug any other thing in because it like takes the whole space. But it's all good anyway. I don't have any intentions on doing anything serious today. Like right now, it's already like 1.30 thereabouts. Like, it's been a long time I was on a long flight like the flight i don't know why i'm saying like like so much but forgive me the flight was over almost 40 hours because we had a couple delays here and there so i am completely totally exhausted and my feet were actually swollen from sitting down so long yeah but sleeping and waking up now it looks better but it's still not back to size just to tell you how severe it was and sitting down for too long not able to stretch must have all played a role into everything a few moments later i placed a few others on uber eats from mia pasta and they have just arrived A few moments later. 
When I arrived in Montreal, the immigration settling in process, confirmation of the COPR and everything took a little bit longer than I expected it would. So when I got to the testing area for the arrival COVID test, they just gave me home test kit because obviously I had a connecting flight to catch in a few minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that as part of my day one activities. Yeah. Hopefully I'm able to pull it off and have the sample collected today as well. It's currently a few minutes past 7 p.m. So. A few moments later so it turns out that I'm just a little bit too late today so the um, testing experience apparently operates between 4 a.m. and 6 40 p.m. so I'll need to retry it again tomorrow right now I'm just going to go and unpack my box because everything is like all over the place not necessarily unpack unpack because I'm still going to move to my own apartment but like to just put things in their rightful place so that i can easily find stuff in my boxes and i'm just gonna have a shower honestly and get ready for tomorrow the next day all right so i'm ready to head out today and this is my fit it's summertime so i'm just taking advantage of the warm weather and using it to wear my sandals and coincidentally the sandals matches my blouse i'm not really like feeling myself still because of the jet lag and stuff but i've been hyping myself in front of the mirror like i am beauty i'm a speck i am nobody's ex haters will hate potatoes will put it but my blood will never dry yes and it's working <laughs> I'm using that to hype myself. I'm nobody's ex, okay? Haters will hit, potatoes will put it, but my blood will never dry. later that same evening 
I'm in the queue waiting to see a nurse to do my COVID test. And there are currently 223 people ahead of me. So I was finally able to get in to do my COVID test, but I'm not able to arrange a pickup for the sample. It's weekend now, so I'll need to call back on a working day for them to come and pick up the sample. Other than that, I am pretty much excited with how the day went shout out to my friend suda for helping me through the day and also shout out to chioma for picking me from the airport i do not take your generosities for granted generosities is that a word anyway whatever i do not take it for granted and yeah i'm hungry like seriously guys i am hungry i'm hungry i haven't had anything to eat all day and that's not a good thing it's not something to get used to because I don't want to develop any digestive issues and stuff. So I'm just going to go. You saw all the things I got earlier. I'm just going to go prepare something to eat. And yeah, see you all tomorrow. Day three. Many hours later. few moments later and the life coach is judge and say what is it what judge says overrule or will stand or will tell or whatever you're saying that's what the life coach does the life hold on hold on john we can still talk okay all right let john let me talk okay if these things cannot be adhered to you don't have a relationship four moments later so this is what i cook yesterday my smoked turkey stew and some potatoes
a few moments later. Today is a Sunday and I woke up late as usual because I'm still jet lagged. I didn't quite sleep on time. Well, as you can see from the previous clip, I was up attending a 7 a.m. service in Nigeria at past 12 my time. So yeah, I went to bed at um, almost 2 a.m. But I woke up in the afternoon today. So I haven't really done much. I've just done some tidying up and just preparing for the week. What I'm going to do tomorrow is go and open my bank account. And I'm also going to call the Service Canada people to see if I need an appointment to come and get my social insurance number. And I'm also going to go to the registry again because the other day I couldn't do what I needed to do there because I didn't have all my documents with me. So I'm going to be going there to apply for the Alberta Health Insurance and I'm also going to do my driver's license conversion. So it's quite a busy day for me, but I really need to get a lot of these things done as soon as possible so that I can hit the ground running. I am not the kind of person that likes to waste time. So the earlier things are done, the better. Day four. Later. Many hours later. Hey y'all, pardon my sweaty face. So I have actually been able to do my license conversion and I've also um, applied for my Alberta health card, but I wasn't able to open my bank account. My bank is going to be with RBC, just in case you're wondering, because I may not make a specific video about that. I was able to book in an appointment to open the account, so I will go on the day and open my account. I might also take you guys along to go and look at my new place. We'll see how we go, but I need to get back to my place because the pickup person for the COVID test will soon be there. It's a nice sunny day, 23 degrees, so it's not too bad. It's just this face mask that is a bit inconvenient, but apart from that, I'm doing pretty good and I'm so excited. Later that same evening.
48 hours later. Hey y'all, so I'm just about to step out. Yesterday I didn't feel like being on camera, so that's why there's no footage from yesterday. However, I was able to send out some job applications yesterday. But it's so tedious because you have to tailor your CV based on the job role and all that. And I also did self-care because since I arrived here, I haven't really taken out time to spend time with me. You know, just me. So I listened to some music, I did a mini facial, I tried to tidy up my brows a bit and I just cleaned up my kitchen area and stuff. So today I'm just going to go out and try to open my, or not try, successfully open my bank account because I actually have my appointment today with my banking advisor. And after that I'm planning to go to Walmart to look at whether I can find some furniture. Because I was actually planning to order my furniture from Ikea, but when I was trying to place the order last night, a lot of the things were out of stock. And there's only one Ikea store in Calgary. Oh, I am also going to go and get social insurance number because they told me they were going to call me and book an appointment. And that was on Monday and this is Wednesday and no one has called me. So I'm going to go there in person and let me let them tell me they are not going to give me an appointment. Let me know. Okay, because it's taking too long. The social insurance number is required for you to work in Canada. So you need to have a social insurance number, which I do not have. And I've already started putting out job applications. So when an interview comes, what do I tell the employer, you know? So I just need to get all these things sorted. I know it's still week one, but I'm kind of like a go-getter kind of person. And I just like to get things done. Lest I forget to mention, this jet lag thing is just doing my head in because Melbourne is a whole 16 hours ahead of Calgary and my sleep pattern is still messed up even on day six. I'm just trying to understand when I'm going to be over this jet lag because it's really becoming annoying. I do not sleep properly because when I'm feeling sleepy, it's daytime here and I need to go out to do stuff and when it's night, I feel sleepy but not as much as I would feel sleepy during the daytime, you know? 16 hours is a whole lot and my body is really taking her time to adjust. So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Still on a smart casual kind of vibe, so I just have on this top from H&M, trousers from Zara, ripped at the knees, of course not to make the look too serious. And my trainers, you know already from Tommy Hill figure. Yeah, and my bag is from Colette by Colette Heyman. I got it in Australia. Well, everything I have, I, I got in Australia, basically, because I haven't bought anything here yet. So, yeah, this is the fit. I'm beginning to feel myself. I think my body is looking great. Time to go and get the bus. Many hours later. Hey, y'all. So just to do a touching base kind of situation with you. This is still day six and my day went pretty good. I successfully opened my bank account and just as I was about to leave the bank and head to the Service Canada office to ask them why they haven't called me for my appointment, someone called me and i've been able to book my appointment in for tomorrow so that's great i'm going to have my social insurance number tomorrow i'm so excited that's like the m last main thing i need to do i've done a lot if you've been following the video you can tell i've been really trying to get everything in order within one week it's it's not been easy i won't lie to you it's been stressful and in all, I'm grateful. Everything that is happening has happened so fast since June. And I know that eventually I will settle in and have time to really appreciate everything I have. But I'm grateful and I thank God for all he's doing. And also, I don't know if I should share this now, but I think I should probably to encourage someone out there. I, like I mentioned earlier, I started applying for jobs yesterday, day five, and I actually had my first interview today. So hopefully that goes well and I don't have to attend any more interviews or put out any more applications for at least a year. I had two interviews today for the same job. The first was a phone interview and then the second one was a video interview, but it's those kind of video interviews that you are required to record yourself. 
So a recording will play asking you a question, then you're meant to record your response. And then tomorrow I have another interview with the manager, a Zoom video call with the manager. So yeah, it seems to be progressing good. And I'm guessing speaking with the manager should probably be the last stage of the whole thing. And by the grace of God, it all goes well so that by next week, I'm already working because I do not want my resources to become low. Eh? Money. I do not want Ibigi, Ego, Owo, any language you want to say it in. I do not want it to become low. Yeah? I just want things to fall in place quickly. Yeah, so I also went to Walmart and I wasn't able to find furniture. The Walmart I went to was quite huge and I was running on a tight schedule so i couldn't stay there too long because i had other places to go to but a friend of mine suggested i try out somewhere else to find furniture so i'm going to do that tomorrow also i would like to just let those of you that are actually interested in moving to canada at some point or the other that when you are applying for your social insurance number it's always better for you to go in person because when you go in person you get it on the same day but if you do it online you would get it in two to three weeks and that's really a waste of time because you can't start working until you have it so if you book an appointment in person and you go there and get it done it's way better for you saves you a lot of stress so that if you get a job as soon as you arrive within a week or two you can start working as soon as possible the next day hey y'all so today is day seven sorry about my puffy face i just woke up from a siesta I went to see Esther in the dream. So yeah, that's why I look like this. Anyway, so apart from that, today is the last day of the one week vlog. And I'm honestly grateful to God for everything that has happened during this week. So fine, I've done my social insurance number today, which is amazing. So that means I'm set to work as soon as I get a job. I remember I told you guys I was going to have an interview, another interview today. I did and they told me they were going to let me know if I qualified for the last round of the interviews between 4 to 6 p.m. Right now it's almost 7 p.m. So I'm guessing I didn't make the cut for them, but that's okay because it only shows that I'm actually doing something right to have actually been selected for an interview. I applied for the job on today's today's a thursday i applied on tuesday got called on wednesday had my first interview on wednesday had my second on thursday today so it only shows i'm actually doing something right and i'll just keep that right perspective even though i was looking forward to not applying to jobs anymore because i just want to like start working asap but it's all good it's all good because i know that god is in control of the whole situation and everything is going to turn out just fine so planning to move to canada i hope you are able to accomplish a lot during your first week as well i'll see you guys in my next video but till then as always stay blessed and remember god loves you bye